Okay, so we've made videos on how to set up a VPN on Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, etc., what have you. But no one exactly talks about how you can actually disable a VPN. So I'm Vamsin from SmartDS Proxy and in this video I'll show you how, when and why you should disable your VPN and I'll give you a detailed description on how to do it. Let's go. So first up, when do you actually turn off your VPN? Well, in most circumstances, it's safer to just keep it on, but there are times where you have to turn it off and it's better that way. Well, let me show you how. Okay, first up, if I'm accessing my financial account transactions on my banking sites, many of those financial institutions expect me to log in from a given location, and when I log in from an unknown location, they insist on the extra login step to prove who I am, who I claim to be. Similarly, if you have to turn it off while troubleshooting network issues or setting up an internet connection for the first time, or if you're trying to access your local news channels or online games that expect you to be connected from your home network, like if I'm using Xbox Smart Glass or another app that requires me to use my home network. So most VPNs come with a software program or an app that you can use to manage the VPN that you've bought. So if you're using a Windows, Mac, Android or iOS, VPN pretty much on any OS simply launches the VPN app, so simply just tap or click or toggle the same button you use to enable it. The button might read disconnect, turn off or stop, or it just might be a power icon altogether. Now these methods only work if your VPN supports a software program or an app, but sometimes there are VPNs that don't support these, so what do you do in that case? You have to manually turn it off. So I'll show you how you can do that for Android, iOS, Mac, and each every one of those devices. So skip to the section that you wanna go so you don't have to watch it all the way through. So to turn off a VPN on Windows 11 or 10 or other versions, go to settings and then network and internet and select VPN in the left side menu. Now select the VPN connection you wanna disable and then click disconnect. So to turn off VPN on Android, you can turn off your VPN either directly in the app or in your smartphone settings. So if you wanna do that, just go to settings, network and internet, tap on the VPN, toggle off the VPN. Similarly, to turn off VPN on macOS, you can disable VPN connection directly in the app or in the macOS network settings. So go to system preferences and then network, select the VPN connection on the left panel and then click disconnect. Disabling VPN on iOS is quite straightforward and requires only a few taps. You can easily deactivate your VPN and then turn it back on. So just go to settings, general, tap VPN and device management and then toggle off the VPN status to not connected. Okay, those are some temporary ways that you could, you know, disable your VPN. But what if you want to, you know, permanently delete the VPN from your device? Well, there's actually two ways that you can go about it. One is to uninstall the VPN from your device. And the second one is manually going to the device settings and then deleting your VPN from there. Let me show you how. So on Windows, once disconnected, click the remove button that will appear below the VPN name. And there you go, it's done. Now for Mac, select the VPN again from the left panel and then click on the minus button at the bottom of the panel. For Android, select the VPN and tap on the delete VPN profile and then it'll be deleted altogether. Now on iPhone, tap on the information button next to the VPN name and then select delete VPN. So there you go, those are some of the ways that you could actually disable a VPN on popular operating systems. So if you like this video, click on the like button and then comment on why you liked it. So we'll make more educational content like this in the future. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.